is Jonathan Baker Throwbacks. I'm back with another Ebbets Field Flannels box opening. And we've got a, another baseball jersey. Um, it's going to be a San Francisco Seals jersey. Let's open it up. Always, every toy comes with this nice packaging. There you go. We got a 1933 Road Joe DiMaggio jersey. Um, 1933 was actually Joe's first season as a. Uh, full season as a seal <clears throat> 1932 he only played three games with the seal so 33 was you know would be considered his rookie season in the pcl his full season first full season so uh yeah let's get into the jersey so we start down here what i love about Ebbets is they don't put jog tags down here so it makes it feel more to me more authentic to the time i mean in the 30s i don't think they had jog tags down here on the jerseys maybe maybe not but it's better than a fat Huge jock tag here of a current company, you know. I like it. So, anyways, got those black or uh, the navy blue pinstripes. Got that wool. Got your darker gray buttons. Move up. You got that felt SF, that like nice thick patch right there. Very interesting patch, which I was not a fan of at first, especially because it seems like the F is before the S, or I guess it would be the S over that, but it kind of grew on me, and now I actually enjoy it. It's very unique. I don't see that too often. You got your piping right here, which if you look at pictures from back then, it did end you know, around that part of the jersey, so they did a great job with that. No uh, patches on these sleeves. You got your double piping here, that navy blue. Come up here, you got your Evitz Field tag here. Large, 50% wool, 50% polyester, dry clean only, made in USA. And then, of course, you've got the, their Evitz Field um, kind of ticket, you know, uh, Kind of paying homage to the actual Ebbets Field that the Brooklyn Dodgers used to play at. Right there, W. Check them out, Ebbets.com. Oh, this side, same thing. Nothing too much different or nothing different at all. You got the sun collar on this one, which you'll see. So it kind of covers the back of your neck a little bit. So you got that extra piece, whereas, you know, some jerseys, will they would have ended here. But this one, along with a lot of other jerseys at the time, they had these sun collars added. So, we got that. Let's check out the back. Back you got here, and this part, it overlaps right there. You got your double piping right here, the navy blue. As you come down, you got that tin. Felt just like the front. Nicely stitched on. Got the little armpit right there. Same on the other side. It's pretty much it. Simple jersey, simple but beautiful. Really, when you have these Ebbets jerseys, you really feel like you're getting a jersey from the time period, you know, that was just kept in great condition. It doesn't feel like a reproduction. Something made today to, you know, resemble something from those days, you really feel like you're getting a piece of, you know, history or, you know, something from the actual time, so. Beautiful jersey. Now let's throw it on. 
Uh, before I throw it, throw it on, I forgot a couple things. You go down here, you see the hem. So you got that part right there, rounded bottom. Right there, same on the other side. Now let's check the length. One moment. So it's only me, so I can't, you know, show you the actual measurements. But trust me, I did it from top to bottom. If you count the um, sun collar, it is about 34 and a half inches from top to bottom in the back. And then when I measured the chest, which I measured from right here to right here, it was 24 inches. Uh, it was exactly 24 inches. This is a large so that's the measurements you would get um, on a large with Evitz. They do have two different shells. So um, different larges, it depends on the shell. The picture, you can tell more which ones are kind of, I think it's like more rounded on top and squared. And if you call them, they'll let you know. It's not like they're, it's an error. They, that's, a, that's what it's meant to be. So on this one, if you look at one that's compared to this shell, it's 24 inches from chest to chest, 34 and a half from top to bottom with the sun collar. So this is the fit on me. Fits about perfect. Like I said, it's a large. I gave you the measurements in the last clip. I'm 5'10", 210. Once again, doesn't mean the same for everyone. If you're 5'10", 210, it could be different. But anyways, fits great. So another, you know, uh, Evans just killing another jersey like they always do. Uh, once again, the 1933 Road Joe DiMaggio jersey. Uh, first full season as a seal, as I said earlier in the video. So... You know, classic jersey to have in that, you know, number 10 that he was known for with the Seals, at least. Obviously, with the Yankees, he went on to number five. And part of the Seals, he did wear five. It's kind of mixed. It's kind of weird. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, that's uh, that's the video. So thanks again for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. And if you uh, are subscribed, thanks for being here again. Go check out evans.com. Great company, great people, great work. Um, and if you didn't see my video I posted a couple weeks ago when I visited the actual headquarters, go check it out. You got to get a clip uh, back to see behind the scenes glimpse of what they do, which is amazing. So that's that. Everyone have a good day. I'll see you next time.